Let's go to Jumbo. We're about to head out to this toy store. We're headed to a refugee camp here in Thessaloniki, and then we're also gonna go to this area where this woman provides medical aid to refugees also. It's two separate locations. Her name is Rose, she's really cool. Dang, she's freaking huge, man. Hop into Ikea. What the actual hell? We were supposed to go to this bus stop named after Ikea. Big ass furniture store. And here they call it Ikea. You can't miss it. The bus never got there. So now we're back in Thessaloniki again. Cause you know it's Greece. They, they do things differently. They don't take the route that the bus sends. Literally the bus driver goes, I'm stopping here because no one was on the bus when there were four people on Basically, the bus. He just wanted to take his break. We're just gonna get balls from like places like that. I'll buy all the small ones. Take the small ones, Brian. <laughs> We're not gonna let those Greek buses get in the way. I'll take them. I'll take the whole sack of big balls. Okay. <laughs> this is the backup thumbnail. I'm taking one more sack. Alright, take him off the hook, Brian. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good stack, right, Krisa? Alright, let's get these bad boys up. It's supposed to be somewhere over here. This is legit the red light district. I'm gonna cut the vlog right there. So, this is what happened. We never found Rose. I think she doesn't go until like later in the day. Then after that, we ended up hopping in a taxi and going to a refugee camp. That wasn't the refugee camp we were supposed to go to. We basically got to the place. We tried to walk in and they, the security guard or the police officer was there, kicked us right out. And then we were trying to give the balls to some of the people sitting outside the camp. We can drop them off to these guys over here. Can you do us all a favor? So we got these balls for the kids in here and like they won't let us inside to give them. If we give you guys a soccer ball or something, can you guys give it to some kids in there? But we don't have money. No, no, no. Free. We're just giving them for free. So we tried to give the balls to people outside the camp. And then the police officer came and was like, you guys have to go. So we just tossed the guy a ball. We tried getting in the camp. The camp, that's not really a camp, apparently, according to the Greek police. We weren't allowed in. Then we tried to give them some guys out there to give the kids in there. Brian tossed them one because there's a bunch of kids in there. We're just trying to give out the balls and it's whatever. Then we hopped on the bus. Thankfully, it was going back to Thessaloniki because we were in the middle of no the fucking taxi driver goes, the refugee camp is right here. And right next to it are the Greek prisons. Literally right next to Greek prisons out there. We hopped on a bus and we didn't know what, where it was going. And thankfully it went back to the Saloniki. First person we see. We saw these guys. We we're going to have them play a game to win one of the footballs, one of the soccer balls. But they didn't speak English. Hey, what's up guys? We're shooting a YouTube video. Do y'all want to be a part of it? It's okay, thank you. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> yeah, you guys can keep it. You guys can keep it. Yeah. So Brian just gave him ball just for the heck of it. And we were trying to hand out balls all the way back, but some people were like, nah, we don't want balls. You don't want football? <laughs> Do we look that terrifying? Then we ran into these kids. These kids were so cool. <laughs> you guys can take all of them. You can take all of them. They saw the balls and we were like, hey, do you guys want some? They literally attacked the balls and they got a bunch of them. You got Barca right there? You got Barca. <laughs> oh boy, okay. <laughs> He's greedy. He's greedy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. They're really cool. And then we just dropped off another bag like right at a daycare. We just put them on top. Now we have these balls left. Probably gonna give them to the Carissa, and then she is going to give them to Antoni, who was the guy that told us about the camps here, and hopefully he'll be able to give these balls to some kids out there in the camps. Do what we couldn't do, because we got lost. We still managed to give out the balls, and it was a good day, honestly, even though we walked like 10 miles before 2 p.m. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it was a good day, so catch y'all later. Oops.